Who are the strongest beings in Warcraft? Well, the old gods and titans. The list could be the name of six titans and four old gods in its set. So, to make things a little more interesting, no old gods or titans will appear on the list. Now, let's get started. My people should have taken this world long ago, during the first war. But they fell to corruption. In their weakness, they allowed the pitiful races of Azeroth to join the Horde. I will succeed where they have failed, and no power in this world can stop me! Number 10, Garrosh, the final boss of Mr. Pandaria. To be more precise, Old God infused Garrosh, who was pretty damn strong. It took the combined forces of the Alliance and Horde Rebellion to take him out, with every single major leader of both sides present, and even easily defeated Thrall in a one-on-one -on -one before his fight. But even with all that power, he still comes in pretty low on the list because of all the other powerhouses stronger than him. Mortal insects! You dare trespass into my domain! Your arrogance will be purged in living flame! Number 9. Ragnaros. The strongest of the elemental lords, who required the aid of a handful of ancient eternals to bring down. Originally a minion of the old gods, who was then banished to the elemental plains by the titans after their defeat. Ragnaros was then summoned back into the world by the Dark Iron Dwarves during the War of the Three Hammers, and his summoning shattered Red Ridge Mountains and created the volcano at the center. During the Cataclysm, he returns, allied Deathwing, and assaults the World Tree. While he may not have been very successful in any of his plans, he was one tough cookie to deal with. He was eventually killed in the Firelands, which is in his domain, so he is thought to be permadead. I am Lei Shen, Slayer of Kings and Gods. You have made a grave mistake. Number 8, Lei Shen. Lei Shen is an interesting character brought about in Miss. His accomplishments include defeating the Titan Keeper Raden and absorbing his power. Raden himself was the Keeper responsible for creating the elemental planes that trap Ragnaros and the other elemental lords. So, beating him was kind of a big deal. He also defeated a Celestial in one-on-one -on -one combat, Zuen. You know those ancient Eternals that help us kill Ragnaros? Well, Zuen is technically considered one of them. And then he went about to conquer all of Pandaria. Eventually, he just died of old age. What we fought had missed was the resurrected form of him by the trolls. Not to say he was a weaker version or anything, but Lei Shen was so powerful no one could stop him in his lifetime. Number 7, Aegwin. Aedwin was the strongest guardian of Tirasfall. The guardians of Tirasfall were always the strongest mages in the world in their lifetime. So, she was technically the best of the best. She single-handedly defeated Sargeras' avatar and sealed away his body in the middle of the ocean, which is what the expansion legion will be based around. She also used her magic to stay alive for hundreds of years and went out of her way to create a new guardian of Tirasfall who would succeed her and be even stronger. The new guardian, of course, was her son, Medivh. You no longer need to sacrifice for your people. You no longer need to bear the weight of your crown. I've taken care of everything. Number 6, The Lich King. The Lich King, arguably Warcraft's most popular villain. And rightfully so, he was pretty damn strong. How strong was he though? Well, strong enough to take down the Horde's champion Sourfang Jr. with a single strike. Easily take Tyrion out of the picture and one shot the entire raid group during his fight. He was eventually killed after Tyrion got a surge of power out of nowhere and cracked his weapon. But did you know? The Lich King we fought at the end of the expansion was actually a powered down version of himself. During the Frozen Heart quest chain, you learn that Arthas threw out his human heart, and after it's destroyed by Tyrion, the Lich King is significantly weakened, and it's pretty much assumed that's the reason we were able to kill him at all. That goes a long way to show how powerful he really was if, in a weakened state, 
he was still able to one-shot the strongest heroes in the world easily, which is what player characters are considered in major lore moments. I am Deathwing, the Destroyer, the end of all things, inevitable, indomitable, I am the Cataclysm! Number 5, Deathwing. Now, how is Deathwing stronger than the Lich King? Well, to be honest, he might not be. I'm not 100% sure. It's just, Deathwing had the power to single-handedly tear the world apart, while the Lich King had the power to create an unstoppable army to destroy all living things. I'm just going to assume that the dragon who can literally tear an entire planet apart is a little stronger than the full-powered Lich King. Anyways, um... Actually, you know what? That's pretty much the whole basis on why Deathwing is as high on the list. He had the power to literally tear the world apart. It was only thanks to the power of the other four aspects, Green Jesus, a powerful artifact taken from the past, and the strongest heroes in the world that he was even stopped at all. As for me, I came back to ensure that there would be a future. To teach the world that it no longer needed guardians. The hope for future generations has always resided in mortal hands. And now that my task is done, I will take my place amongst the legends of the past. Number 4, Medivh. Medivh is responsible for the Dark Portal and the Orcs' invasion of Azeroth. Only, he was being controlled by Sargeras pretty much his whole life. Sargeras controlled Medivh, is the only human eternal in WoW lore. He was pretty much raised and bred by Aegewind to be the perfect demon fighting machine. Too bad he was corrupted by the very things he was supposed to fight. When Aegewind went to Medivh to confront him, Medivh, being the new guardian of Tears Fall, since his mother gave him these powers at birth, and having the power of Sargeras, easily beat her and stripped her of her powers. He was eventually killed in his sleep by Khadgar and Lothar, then later brought back to life by his mom. It's still unclear whether or not he's still as strong as he was before he was killed, but he is still alive out there somewhere and might return in a later WoW expansion. So, how is Medivh stronger than Deathwing? Well, because in the book Day of the Dragon, Deathwing himself said he would never willingly face Medivh in direct combat. The fact that Deathwing was afraid to fight Medivh should tell you how strong he is, considering Khadgar, who is considerably weaker than Medivh, but still really strong in his own right gave Deathwing a really tough time in a duel. I bet if they were to ever have fought, both at full power, Medivh would most likely win. Number 3, Elune. Maybe. Not much is known about Elune, other than the fact that she is the only confirmed deity to exist in Warcraft. She is a source of light magic to the Night Elves, and possibly all other races of Azeroth, save the Draenei and Blood Elves. Of course, there is also the theory that Elune could be a Naru, since Draenei get their same exact light powers from the Naru. And Narus themselves are a mystery. They're very powerful, that's for sure. But they're also kind of really weird. They can see into the future, and always do what will have the best outcome in the future. And since they can see the future, they literally let themselves be captured and killed sometimes, because they think it will have a positive outcome down the road. Because of this, some people think the Naru aren't all that strong, but it's really hard to gauge their strength for the reasons I described. The Naru just do really weird shit, but Elun might not be a Naru, she's most likely just a moon god like the Night Elves suggest. Or a Loa, you know, the troll gods. Being a god and all would mean she'd have to have a pretty high place on the strongest character list. Only I don't really know exactly how strong she is compared to the other ones on the list. So, I just put her at 3 for now. For all I know, she could be considerably weaker or stronger than everybody else on this list. To prepare for a world of perfection, the imperfect must be swept away. Number 2, Queen Azara. Queen Azara was the most powerful mortal mage that has ever lived. He achieved eternal status and is stated to have had a power within her that only Archimonde and Sargeras himself would be superior to. And this was all before she got turned into a Naga. After the War of the Ancients, when the continent was being ripped apart and she and her followers sank to the bottom of the ocean, 
she was offered even more power by an old god, and ascended to demigodhood when she and her followers became the Naga. Although, she hasn't really done much since, so it's kind of hard to gauge how strong she is now. But it's pretty safe to assume she's stronger than she was during the War of the Ancients, which was already pretty powerful. Now, whether she's actually stronger than Elune and Medivh is up for debate. Hell, Deathwing might even be stronger than her. We don't really know until Blizzard finally decides to put her in the story again. But my biggest basis for putting her so high in the list is the fact that Manoroth said this little tidbit. Manoroth discovered, to his chagrin, that Azara was far more powerful than he, and that only Archimond, Kil'jaeden, and Sargeras could have matched her. Tremble, mortals, and despair! Doom has come to this world! Look upon the endless forces of the Burning Legion, and know the folly of your resistance. Number 1. Archibond and Kil'jaeden. I like to lump these two together because they're pretty much the same thing. They both lead the armies of the Burning Legion for Sargeras. They're both very powerful, Kil'jaeden a little more so. Out of all the WoW characters who are not old gods and titans, very few people would argue that Archimond and Kil'jaeden aren't the next strongest characters. Kil'jaeden was responsible for creating the Lich King. Archimond snapped Malorn's neck like a twig. Malorn was the ancient who protected nature, thought to be older than Elune herself, and is the father of Sonaris, the guy who created the Druid class. And Archimond snapped his neck like a twig. During the last fight in the Sunwell in the Burning Crusade, your main objective in the fight with Kil'jaeden is to just simply push him back through the portal, not defeat him because that's not possible. Alright, and that's it for the list. I may have left out some other characters in WoW who might be stronger than the ones on the list, so it's not a super set in stone, these are the absolute strongest characters after the old gods and titans. There's probably a few more, like the Loa, but I totally forgot about the Loa while writing the initial list, and I didn't feel like revising it to include them. The Car of the Blood God would probably be pretty high up there as well. 